Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Peter Mothy. I'm Vice President of Corporate Development at Flexible Plan Investments. What I want to share with you today are some timely pieces of information that go into the way that analytical firms like ours take a look at the markets. And I think some of the things I'm going to share with you today are important to help you understand why markets and how markets are moving today and what we might expect going into the future. In the next few days, we'll talk about volatility and how these inputs affect both our portfolio development and our strategy development. But for today, I want to share with you the big picture. The big picture that I'm going to start with today, this graph goes back 95 years. But I'm going to focus on the last 70 years, which is from the dotted line on the left part of the screen to the right. As analytical firms, meaning we just pay attention to the numbers. We don't use our opinions. We pay attention to the data that we get from the markets. This is an indicator that is, was designed by Decision Point. It's their price momentum oscillator on the bottom and it's being presented against the S&P 500 at the top. One of the things as analytical firms like ours we pay attention to is we try to take a look at indicators like this that give us an indication of when there are really important times in the market to take action and to be aware of opportunities that may be presenting themselves. One of the things that came up just this past week was this indicator at the bottom of the screen reached the green zone for really only the third time since 1950. So in the last seven years, I've dotted in a fourth time frame that we can identify, but this is a rare occurrence. And when these rare occurrences happen, we like to pay attention to them. So the first time that this indicator reached the green zone post 1950, was after the crash of 1987. Not terribly unlike now. In the crash of 1987, the market was at a new all-time high in August. The market had a very large failure in a very contracted period of time, fell over 30%, and then found its footing and then moved on from there to new all-time highs. The indicator, however, was at a crisis point. Fear was rampant and it took this indicator into the green zone. The next time we actually went into the green zone was during the financial crisis in 2008, when again, we got into an extreme fear condition and this indicator went into the green zone. Once again, not necessarily at the exact bottom, but indicating that fear had taken the market to irrational levels of selling. And soon thereafter, an opportunity to be opportunistic in flexible plans view took place. Well, the third time now is just recently, in the past week or so, where this indicator once again reached the green zone at about the same point in the terms of a decline as the 1987 crash that came and went in a very short period of time. Now, here at Flexible Plan, we don't look for, we don't forecast, but we do recognize these characteristics when they happen. And by the way, the dashed line in 02, I have dashed because this indicator didn't quite make the green zone, but it was still notable, but it also happened very near the end of the bear market in 2002. So as we take a look at this and we took a, take a look at how to, to interpret the market action, as what the future might bring, history tells us that there are probably many more opportunities here that will present ourselves going into the future to be opportunistic rather than to be defensive, which is where we at Flexible Plan have been for some time now. And with that, I'm going to move on to another chart that I want to share with you today. Now, this is another long-term view, not as long, but I wanted to take you back and give you a different perspective of market corrections versus prolonged bear markets. In this particular view, I'm sharing with you a monthly chart of the S&P 500. And we're gonna start at the left-hand side of the chart. I'm gonna be focusing largely on just the top part here. 
So in 2000 and in 2007, we had economic upturns that were starting to roll over and creating a bear market that followed. They were fairly prolonged and progressive, all opportunistic and, and risk managed strategies and portfolios here at Flexible Plan are designed to recognize these and respond accordingly. In between these two very major bear markets, we've had a lot of important but short lived corrections. I'm going to start in the middle of the page where I've indicated the correction A in 2011. We had another large correction about the same magnitude in 2018 at point B. And now we're in a third at point C. And I'm going to isolate these for your attention because in each of these cases, these were very sharp corrections in a very short period of time that rebounded in about the same amount of time. Within a year from the prior high, the market had moved on to reaching or exceeding the prior market high before the correction. This is much different than the correction that we saw at 9-11. And in, at 9-11 in 2001, it was, it was all, we were already in a bear market. So this was a very sharp short-term correction when we were already in a well-established bear market not coming from a bull market high. So these are some of the nuances that we build into the math of our strategies here at Flexible Plan. There is a difference between these corrections. We take different defensive strategies and approaches to these kinds of corrections. And as a result, this is the kind of view that we look at, but we mathematically interpret. So for now, we are in a very sharp bull market magnitude correction like we were in 1987. But right now it's fitting the profile of a position where we need to be defensive, but we need to be aware of the opportunity. Let's move on to my next chart. Now, this is where I want to bring in and point out the importance of strategic diversification. Looking back at a prior correction, it was very similar to what we went through recently, not quite as deep, but I want to show you the, the importance of strategic diversification in the sense that when fear enters the equity markets, as it has of late, one of the reasons why we construct all portfolios at Flexible Plan with a broad diversification of asset classes is because in this view, stocks decline 20% in three months. And while stocks were declining, our gov government bond allocations were rising almost faster than the stocks were declining, as were a lot of our alternative investments that we include in the portfolios. But one of the other things I wanted to point out here is the similarity to many past corrections that I pointed out in the prior chart is please note that when the market declines this sharp and in this short a period of time, it often rebounds in a fairly similar, not necessarily V-shaped, but fairly similar time frame. In this particular case, I believe the recovery time was four months from the top, from the bottom to the to the recovery high in this chart, and the decline took about three months. Another great example of this will be my next chart. In this chart, this is the 2018 decline that took markets by surprise. In this particular case, the market in three months went down 20%, and in the span of a little over four months, returned back to the all-time highs. But look what happened with, with bonds and gold, the other part of our portfolio. While stocks were declining, which is where a lot of investors take their sole focus, we at Flexible Plan pay attention to the holistic market, which is all three asset classes. And in this particular case, while stocks were declining, bonds and gold were advancing. But individual attention, individual investor attention was focused solely on the stock market. This is why we construct portfolios the way we do. So let's move on to my next chart and bring it closer to home. 
This is our most recent decline. This is our most recent decline where in about four weeks or so, we declined over 30%. Very similar profile, very similar characteristics to a 1987. Once again, because we have flexible plan built into portfolios, all three asset classes, note what happened to the other two asset classes. We are not the victim of any one asset class. We structure portfolios so that we have opportunities at all times. So in this particular time frame, we don't know what the future will bring. We do know that history tells us we need to be prepared for this to be an opportunity. We do know from history that we have needed to be defensive. And we do know from history we need to have multiple asset class diversification. Now, I want to take you back to a place where many of you will not remember, but I do, because I was on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange at the time. In this period of time, we had nearly a 20% correction in only about 40 calendar days. It was about as fast as money could move back then, given that, that there were no electronic trading, there was only paper trading. And in this particular period of time, it's interesting to me that we had a very sharp, incredibly scary decline in a very short period of time that once again followed the profile that about four months later, we were back to recovery highs. Now, it's very important that we understand that all of these declines that we take a look at through time are driven by different purposes. There's different catalysts. There's different fears that drive investors out of equities during these periods of time. But they're all similar in the sense that the emotion that drives those declines is fear. It's also true that the emotion that drives money into the other asset classes is often fear. And that's why we at Flexible Plan don't look at our construction of portfolios in a casual sense. We know the dynamics of money. And so for today, I want you to understand that we are going through a very sharp and, and intense equity market correction. But this is not the first time at Flexible Plan in our 40 years we've seen this. We've seen it before. We've managed our way through it before both from a risk management and an opportunity management perspective, and we will do so again. So until my next session, when I'll discuss volatility as well as portfolios and strategy design and opportunism. I'll see you soon. This is Peter Moathe for Flexible Plan.